Hello and welcome, dear friends. Thank you for joining me today. So the main topic for today uh, is to talk a little bit about emails and how Power Automate handles emails, what you can do with emails, you know, just some basic things. So if you go here to Power Automate, um, you know, center at uh, flow.microsoft.com, you see an option here which says connectors, right? This is where we'll look first. And among popular connectors, you see things like Office 365 Outlook, uh, you know, maybe some other things. If I search for email, let's see what we get, right? So uh, these are some of the pre premium connectors that we have, right? And let's see what's available for the standard. If I search for mail instead of email, there is a connector to Gmail, right? There is a one called mail and yeah, there is not so much here, right? And for the premium connectors, we have a uh, jungle mail, polite mail, mail cheap. So this is, uh, this, uh, I assume this is some premium email services. And of course, if I go to flows, or maybe I go to home first, right? There are some templates. Also, if I uh, search for mail, Right, uh, there are some templates where mail action is already included, right? So when we work with uh, emails in Power Automate, first thing that we can uh, have a look at, it's uh, connected with um, a trigger, right? Trigger, this is something that causes the flow to start or to, to, to run. If I select automated cloud flow option, Right, you know, among the triggers, I see, uh, let's check when a new email arrives in a shared mailbox, right? When a new email is flagged, uh, when a new email arrives, this is a Gmail connector, right? So if you have a Google uh, account and you want to do something with emails there, then um, that would be an option. Right, uh, Office 365 groups mail. Uh, also, uh, as I mentioned, this premium things like mail, cheap. Um, so basically, you know, to summarize, there is a good connection to Outlook mail, right? When a new email arrives in the shared mailbox, that could be one of the options. Or you can do something like um, uh, this is Office 365 Outlook and this is standard Outlook. So if you have a, your free Outlook account, this will also work. Um, so that's a trigger, right? That's something that starts a flow. Uh, let's do something like this. Maybe we just have a look at Office 365 Outlook. So uh, if I click on the advanced options, right, I can select specific options. So let's say the email arrives to a specific recipient, right? Let's say when the email arrives to CEO of a company, right? I have this big boss guy here. And then um, from a specific sender, I can include attachments or not. And I can also filter based on subject probably on some importance, right? If it's important email. So basically this trigger will work on any email that arrives to this mailbox, right? Uh, then I can do an action there. And let's say an action, I want to forward email or something. Email, uh, what kind of actions we have here, send email notification, get email. For a very simple case, I'm just going to send an email notification, right? And two, so uh, let's say I have a forwarding email address or something like this. Uh, so uh, IT, right? Let, let, uh, uh, let me find the user. 
So basically, you can specify any address here, right? And I'm just going to forward it to myself. Uh, put a subject, CEO received an important message, right? From um, content of the email, please let CEO uh, know that he received an important message, right? So the only thing I change here is for the, with the messages with high importance, and this is email notification, right? Very simple thing, right? It, it works uh, in a simple way, it's automated flow. The main thing for you to remember, just to make sure that there is a trigger, right? So when the email arrives, you can configure it. You can also make it dynamic, uh, if you use some variables, but uh, that's a thing. And also, uh, this is an action. That's one of the email actions. Of course, there are a lot of other actions. Uh, if I type for mail, right, I have a Gmail. Let's say uh, with Gmail, of course, I have to connect first, but uh, then I can you see, move mail to, to trash, delete, send email. So there are some options you can also do with Gmail account. So uh, now you can just go ahead and play with it a little bit, run some tests and see how it actually works. But the thing is, you can definitely handle emails with Power Automate. And there are some things you can do. For example, when there is some kind of approval, then you can send email notification or um, and you also see here you see version 3 so some of the connectors available in different versions so as microsoft improves functionality you can also see different versions of the connectors and they uh, give some advanced um, options like um, i don't know here i'm not going to go into details but normally as the version gets high you just get more options and more advanced things so yeah, that's what you can do with email and uh, run a test, uh, have fun and have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.